Welcome to another great day. We're going to look at ArtRage 4.5 and the implementation of the Improved Grid tool. So we go to the grid, uh, the cross that symbol, and open up the grid tool. You can also go to View Grids to open this up. And we have some selections, so we're going to click Show Grid. And then we're going to go down to Snap to Grid. Now I'm going to select the Marquee tool. And this is the freehand marquee tool, and you can see that it's snapping to the squares in the grid. Now let's go and choose the rectangle grid tool. And as I draw a rectangle, it will snap to the grid also, to each square. Now let's fill that so you can see it better. And, and I can't than being silly here so let me make another layer and make another rectangle and then fill that now I can show you what I want to show you which is that after I fill it I can move it and as I move it it snaps to the grid also which is very handy if you're trying to align things And always remember to save early and save often. Nothing like working on the file and then not finding you saved it. Oh, Art Rage, you're not that busy. Okay, let me get to settings and show you how to change the color on the grid. So choose color. And we're going to make this a little lighter so I can see it against this darker background better. And now uh, you can see this is about 75%, but I can also change the opacity to make it lighter, 11%, or all the way up to 100% at this full range. Now also you see spacing pixels. I'm going to change that to squares. I'm going to guess squares are the equivalent of inches. So we can create the grid for the squares just by selecting that and change the amount of squares going across and change the amount of squares going up and down. Now we're going to change that back to pixels and you can change the amount of pixels that it covers. So I'm guessing squares are equivalent to inches but I don't have documentation so I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. Now let's choose a drawing tool here. The marker tool should do just fine. Let's choose a brighter color. Red should be good. Make it a little thicker. And you will see that as I draw, I'm drawing freehand, but it snaps to the squares. I uh, went back over a line and kind of went across, but other than that, it really does snap to the squares. Now let me choose the text tool, create some text here, and you will see we can achieve the same effect where the text will lock into place and align with the grid. No problemi. It's wonderful. Now let me choose the ink tool and put the smoothing up to 100% and show you something else this grid is good for. Move everything out the way. And now I will draw on the grid as before. And it looks like it's snapping to the grid, and it is, but it's really an illusion because once I release, it smooths out. Now this comes in handy when you want some curves to be a specific height and width, and the grid will help you do that. Okay, let me clean up a little bit here so it's not too confusing. So you can see what I'm going to do. And so I can see what I'm going to do. Okay, now we are ready. Now if you make the line too small, then you know the smoothing isn't going to have much of an effect. And if you just make it on one square, you know, that's going to happen. So if that's what you want, then great. Uh, you're in good shape. But otherwise, you know, you have to do a longer line. Now let me show you another use. Choose a rectangle tool. Uh, make a rectangle here. And let me 
fill that. Okay, I don't want to fill it with a gradient, fill it with a color. But I'll still show you what I want to do. Because basically what you could do is create the silhouette of a city if you need to. But, well, come on. Come on. Behave. Come to Poppy. There, that's it. Fill that. And you can see you can continue this to make a cityscape. Now let me show you one of the coolest things you can do with the grid. I saved that for last, so you import a photo as your reference photo. And look, it comes with the grid already on it. So it matches the grid that's on the screen. So if you're drawing a face and you want everything in proportion or anything that you're drawing, you have to keep the same proportions for, this is going to help you a lot. So let me hide the reference. Now let's look at the grid without any illustration underneath because this is going to conclude I'll look at the grid tool new and improved and I want to thank you for stopping by today remember to go out and just create and if you've liked what you've seen I would like you to tell others about it share with them and also click the like button below also make some comments I definitely like to know you're out there and please subscribe Get your friends to subscribe and just help me spread the word. Because if I'm lying, I'm dying. Grit St. Paltry and Mona Lisa was mad. Bye.